I wanted to send this little video out with my submissions for the article designs um, because I know when you're hiring a designer, it's not just about the designs that they're going to create. It's also about what it's going to be like to work with them. Um, so uh, when I was doing the original interview for the position, I talked a lot about mood boards during uh, the interview process uh, as a way to communicate with clients. So. For this prompt that you guys gave, I uh, designed two different variations of the, both articles, both dictated by two different mood boards. Just to give you a sense of like, if I were to send out a mood board, what that would mean toward the ultimate design of the, of the project. So here is mood board number one. And so for this, um, now I wouldn't design a mood board for every article that you'd give. I would design a mood board for the entire magazine as a whole. Uh, and maybe some key, uh, some of the big articles, um, the, the, the marquee articles of the pu publication. So in this one, it was more about kind of like, um, you know, the, the something more sentimental, something more emotional, as opposed to a my second mood board, which is this one, which is much more graphical and fun and colorful. And so taking both these mood boards in mind, emotional and then graphical, which I... I named this one Science Meets Plague just because I thought it was really fun. Um, I took this one right here and created three of these designs. So this one for the optimizing your puppy's brain and then translating some of those colors from the mood board and the floral motifs and the wood grains and the three-dimensional elements to it into the composition. So you get something that's much more about, you know, the uh, something more emotional about you know raising puppies and um, almost like a scrapbook kind of feel in a way and so that's kind of like how that would translate to that where oh and then this is the second one the um, regional club spotlight whereas in using again from the mood board some of those more textural elements like this burlap sack that's back here uh, or this image composition here, this compilation of, of images here to create something that's more emotional feeling um, for this layout, as opposed to this mood board, which would create something that's a little bit more graphical, colorful, and fun for this composition. So, uh, and you know, carrying the graphical nature through with all the shapes to this one here, to this one here, now, one of the things that I did in both articles was I also included infographics. Infographics are, <clears throat> to me, incredibly important design elements within a publication. Um, people read infographics about 60,000 times faster than they read textual evidence, and that ups a viewer's understanding, retention, and intrigue into the, the actual content of the article. So getting some of these um, big elements from the articles and then building them out into infographics, not within just this composition, but then how do you see that within this one right here, which is the same elements, but then designed differently based upon the mood boards. So graphical, colorful, graphical and colorful for this variation of the regional club spotlight. Uh, something that's much more, I mean, I, I guess you can call it hip. I don't know. Uh, my kids hate when I say the word hip. hip. <laughs> but uh, so I, it was important to me for you guys to understand um, the mood board and what that would mean towards actually like helping uh, kind of bridge that communication gap between designer and uh, you guys, which are an enormous resource into understanding you know, the, the, the readership of the, of the publication. So um, I'm very excited by this project. It was great actually to read the article. I love the article. Um, I, I, I think that I could really do something really special with this publication and, and, and make it kind of an award-winning thing. So I really appreciate any consideration and uh, I look forward to hearing from you guys. Thanks so much.